Hey guys, good morning. It's Bernard. It's Saturday morning. I found another trail on an otherwise dreary day in, in Birmingham. Hope y'all are doing okay. Uh, I'm on the Rotary Trail, which is about a, I don't know if it's quite a mile long or not, but it's in the UAB south side area as you get close to downtown. It's not far from Regions Park or Regions Field and where the Barons play. It's uh, near railroad park but it's another neat little area of being able to run or hike walk uh, through the downtown area i'm under one of the overpasses here and uh, this is behind me is one part of the trail i'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see another part of the trail it just continues to go i hope the, the lighting is pretty bad so i'm sorry you're not able to see much it's, uh, it's really aesthetically a very pretty Ari, good morning, Martin. Hope you're doing well, my friend. One of the things I wanted to talk about today really resulted from a business trip that I had this week to take a, uh, a client's deposition in Oklahoma. And one of the key things about the deposition was communication and whether the client had the ability to properly communicate how this accident he was involved in affected his life changed his life and we spent a lot of time preparing for the deposition and then he gave his testimony yesterday and did just a, a beautiful job of being able to communicate to the insurance attorney under oath about how the accident affected changed his life and it really got me thinking about communication and it's so it's so vitally important to relationships it's it's so important to be able to sorry if you're hearing all that that thunder um, hopefully the storm is north of us now but i'm not I, i'm no ronald reagan when it comes to to communication but i constantly am trying to work on it and, and improve my abilities to communicate and how i communicate and what i communicate and it's not just verbally it's it's body language it's uh, do you stay silent or whatever it may be you can communicate in many many different fashions and he did such a great job of organizing his thoughts of being able to communicate to be able to tell his story and I really think that it set a tone because up until then the insurance company the defense on this side of the in, in this particular case they had never met him. They had only seen his paperwork, his medical records, the, the court papers we had filed, heard me talk about him. But until he was able to meet him in person and listen to him and hear his story, I don't really think that it properly was able to, to be presented. And it, his, he, he really did a very admirable job. He did a very fine job of being able to talk about how this accident changed his his life from a, a, a physical standpoint with injuries from a standpoint of mentally how it's affected him how, how it changed his uh, family dynamics his finances and and going forward not just what's happened in the last three years but what the doctors are now telling him about the future uh, his ability to to work or not to work and those kind of things and i thought that was very important of him the way he communicated it he told a story and I know we all have our our family dynamics we have our friendships we have our our business associates we have our our, our longtime friends and all those people in the in your life and everybody gets to know you over time I guess based on the way that you communicate with them and some people are not good communicators. I, I'm not gonna say that I am a great communicator, but I try to do what I think is the right thing by way of conveying how I feel. Um, but a lot of times it's, it's not easy. It's, it, it really is, makes you, you step back and pause about how you're gonna communicate. And some people are awesome at it. Some people are too much, <laughs> are, are too good, or they share too much, or you really, you don't have to second guess the way they feel. They just, they let you know right then and there. And I think that those people are, are maybe better off a lot of times because they're able to process and get it out. 
And then there are others, probably like me, most of the, the people out there are, are a little more reserved and maybe you don't want to communicate how, how you feel all the time. But I'd love to, to hear how you guys, how do you deal, how do you approach with communication? Is it frustrating for you? Is it easy for you? Does it help with your relationships? Does it, does it create problems? But as, as you can hear overhead, Mother Nature is not having a hard time communicating today. Big storm coming through Birmingham. It's taking a few hours. It's a, it's a, a lazy Saturday morning. But I just wanted to take a couple of minutes, say hello. Hope you all are doing well today. And whether it's now live or later on, I'd love to hear from you guys as I do each week. And I appreciate everybody spending a, a few minutes with me on Saturday, most Saturday mornings. Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. And we'll try and catch you next week. Bye.